Property. Listen to All About Safety with your Tito J. Ferrer, the professional lifting, rigging, practitioners, consultants, forklifts, cranes, jockeying, and grating contractors. Giving safety tips for our day-to-day -day lives. Making our way of life safe and accident-free. If you're thinking safety is expensive, try an accident. Call 0917-862-4995. Listen to All About Safety on DWBL. 1242 kilohertz on your AM band. Good afternoon once again. It's a rainy, rainy Saturday. Tito J here, giving you all about safety. Ha? Mga kasama ko, maulan, malamig, masarap matulog. Pero as usual, we should keep it safe. Kasi po, sabi nga ng aking project coordinator, ang aking magandang dalawang project coordinator si Tintin o si Christine Pabian at si Ana Almira masarap matulog. Pero pag ikaw'y tulog, wala kang makikita. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back here. So, last Saturday, we had this topic, the risk worker. So, it's a continuation of uh, our program Last Saturday, hindi po natin natapos kasi it's a very, very long topic yung yung risk worker. It starts with, sabi ko nga, hindi lang natin basta-basta yung safety officer, alam niya na yung yung trabaho, but he should see to it that this requisition of manpower is specified doon sa HR managers. That is why HR's managers should also learn safety. Otherwise, bingo, may aksidente. <laughs> Hashtag, aksidente, Ana. Hashtag, pabebe. Ang galing yun, oh. masayang masaya po tayo. Greetings nga pala po sa ating uh, shusual, ang ating Jele Project family. Uh, sila Tita Pam. Uh, Tita Pam daw, oh. Ano daw yun? Si Sam, si Isabel, si Julian at si Jolo, si Ma'am Jenny, si Ma'am Ana, Ma'am Tintin, si Ethel Facunla, si Jisa, si Jessica, si Lalando, si Raymond, si Giggs, ang aking safety officer. At uh, mamay mamay, marami pang iba. No? So binati lang natin, nahaba po tayo. Talagang mahaba itong programa natin. So ginagawa po natin na ini-spread natin ang ating program para hindi naman siya 
Ah, uh, kilala mo niya pala. Alam ko na in so, uh, mamaya po papakatugtugin natin at di patapos na po tayo yung ating paboritong kanta diyan sa Facebook. So, tinitingnan po natin yung uh, risk workers, no? So, sabi ko nga yung safety officers should coordinate din sa HR officers or HR manager uh, HR managers who are these workers that you want to find. Naturally, a safe worker starts with his competency. If he's not competent, no matter what, no matter how, no matter, no matter what it is, he could not comprehend. Hindi nyo po malalaman. No, kung kailangan nyo po tabero, huwag kumuha po ng gard- hardinero. Kung ang kailangan nyo ay welder, huwag kumuha po ng kusinero. So, meron po yan, mga alit yung tunin. So, kinuhan mo, at paano po ba nalalaman kung mga safe po yan? Paano ba, diba itong mga HR managers natin, kuha na lang ng kuha. Kailangan po sila, meron silang NC2 certification. Kung di man, NC1. Para sa rigging, NC1 lang po. Di pa na-upgrade po ng test eh. So, if the workers that you're talking to has this qualification, then he is already 50% qualified for the job. Now, if he has undergone test the training, in test the po, this safety issues, safety-related issues are being addressed. Like tulad po sa welding, kailangan po sinasabi, naka-PPE. Even though po doon sa mga cookery o baking, sinasabi po doon, may food safety to. You should do this, you should do that, you should do this. Naturally, starts po ulit no, sa ating mga empleyado. No? Huwag pong kumuha po basta-basta na mabilisan. Kailangan po itong mga workers na to is fit to work. Meron po tayong kinukuha dahil sa kabilisan, they're not fit to work. Ano po ba yung mga example yan? They're positive for tuberculosis. They're positive for hepatitis. Naturally, you're, you're living in an environment where there is a canteen and you would all be working, eating on lunchtime together. Sometimes our uh, canteen workers do not wash notoriously this um, utensils. Then everybody gets infected with TB, with hepatitis. So we should also talk to them. In the course of the HR's uh, interview, they would now be learning safety. Why is safety important? It is, again, as I've said, he should be competent, fit to work, knows the job. So once the HR department is brief and they have a meeting of the minds with the safety manager, safety officers on the requirement of the workers that they would need, then that's it. I believe we have one part or one first base is already sold. Second, risk workers are likely to have an accident if they would be using substandard materials. Right. For example, you would have a relief bulb that would not work. And if they would not work, what would happen? Wow, that would be a catastrophe. Hindi ba po? Engineer Larry Cyril. I would like to greet Engineer Larry Cyril, uh, the Vice President of Philippine Resins, uh, Vice President for Administration. Sa so, po siya sa Bataan. Good afternoon, uh, Engineer Larry Cyril. Hopefully, you could be my guest again. So, imagine when uh, there was a uh, seminar where I attended in which Sir Larry was a, uh, a speaker. He said uh, there was an increase of pressure on this pipe and naturally, there should be a relief bulb. Sisingaw po yan. Diba? Magkita nyo, nag-overpressure yung oxygen. And oxygen line. There is now at the end, not necessarily at the end, there will be a safety feature of this pipeline where there is a relief bulb. Ibubugan nyo po yung overpressure na yun. Diba po? Lalabas po yun. So, a relief bulb is a safety features designed by that professional mechanical engineer uh, sila engineer Monsolis 
sila engineer um Gebara, no? Magandang hapon sa inyo. Dinisign po nila 'yan. Now, what if the purchasing manager or the buyer will just buy certain materials because there's a lot of purchases to be done and all of a sudden, wow. He has procured a substandard material. Paano po po ba yan? Para tayo itatagalugin ko na po. There's so many, maraming maraming unscrupulous o yung mapandaya po na mga supplier. Nandiyan dyan lang po sila sa tabi-tabi. Let's say yung gate valve na 300 PSI, no, ang kailangan, hmm, kung bibili ho sila ng 150, buborehin nila yung 1 tsaka yung 5, tatatakan nila ng zero, gagawin nilang 300 PSI. So, pupwede ba po? Pupwede kung hindi po mag-overpressure. Eh, 300 <laughs> PSI ang kailangan, no? Sasabog po pag malakas ang pressure. And that is now an accident. So, these purchasing managers and the HR manager and the safety department, when there's a project, they should be present. Kinakalimutan po kasi natin, eh, no? uh, lalo na po yung may mga malalaking project. Hindi lang po yung mga project manager na meron kayong safety officer. And then the safety officer, kailangan po, uh, sabi nga kanina ng aking sekretarya kanina or ang aking project coordinator, pwede ba po yung madaw mga hindi daw po tapos ng kolehyo? Kumuha daw po ng mga bosh, kosh, o mga ano pa. And then we all greet them na sila po ay mga safety officers na. Dapat po hindi po natin ginagawa yon dahil hindi po po mga nakagraduate, eh hindi po dapat allowed na kumuha muna po ng mga safety courses. Bakit? Eh hindi po po nga sila nakagraduate, eh bata po po sila eh. Kung matatanda po sila, eh kulang po sila dun sa required curriculum. Kailangan po college graduate. Para uli, di ba, meeting of the minds. Alibawa, magkukumpute-kumpute dito, eh, magririging dito. Ang sinasabi natin, eh, dapat nasa center of gravity. Eh, high school graduate nga lang ho siya, o second year college lang siya. Hindi niya maarokong po agad kung ano ibig sabihin ng center of gravity. At kung meron po silang ginagawang project ulit, meron silang excavation, ah, alimbawa, sinabi, katulad ng isang project, confined space, gagawin nila yung confined space, Papasok sila ron, nabugahan na nila yon, na introduce nila yung blower, hangin. Itong hindi nakapag-aral na safety officer, eh, titigil yung trabaho dahil kasi eh, wala pa raw confined space uh, permit. Naglagay na ng blower, eh, inano na po, eh, tinest na. Eh. Eh, hindi masyadong marunong yung safety officer, titigil yung trabaho. It adds, it now adds cost. Even though in the Middle East or in Malaysia, where I was once a safety officer also, we went to the site. There's a critical lift plan. We discuss it with the project manager, with the general contractor and the safety contractor, and with the freight forwarder who is delivering the said generator. So we said this generator is 180 tons. We would be using a 250 ton of crane, blah, blah, blah. Here is the chart. At this working radius, at this height, this will be our boom length. This angle, we could lift 130 pounds. At uh, 30 pounds, tons, I mean. We're lifting 100. So basically by that, we have a uh, 30% safety factor. Is 30% already okay? Now, other engineers, they will say, it's more than enough. Other engineers, they wanted 50. But then again, when you say 50, you want a 50% safety factor. Now, you are increasing the cost of the project. When there's 30%, what is, what is your basis? Is 30% not allowed? Let's go now to certain critical lifting plants where I've seen 20% is already okay. Because, as I've said, to all 
safety practitioners, safety officers, safety managers, consultant listening to me, there is an allowed safety factor. And it should be discussed between your group. I could not tell it because I am not the project manager. But for me, as I've said, sa premier group of companies, uh, Ms. Jamil Tai and uh, Jason Tai and Sir Jerry of uh, the premier group of companies, thank you very much for giving us a chance to handle your chiller which is an eight-ton chiller. We hold it out from one hotel of your client hotel. We hold out the old chiller, and then we rig in a new chiller. Zero accident, zero incident. By the way, uh, sa gumagawa po ng relo, ang aking pong uh, programa ay eh, ganap na pong alas 5.46. Ang oras na to ay dala sa inyo ni... Uh, Smile Always Clinic ni Dr. Ted Oximer. Maraming salamat. Nagpapagwapo sa akin. Ang Denso Bus and Car Air Conditioners exclusively distributed by Coolmate Corporation of the uh, engineer Dan, uh, Ta Danny Tagle. Uh, Vanity Clinic of Dr. Arisa Calderon. Let's now listen now to this very, very good song. <laughs> You're moving so carefully, let's start living dangerously. Talk to me, baby. I'm going to
Hello. <laughs> Ang bilis ng oras. Ano? Enjoy na enjoy ako doon sa kanta ni Joloy. By the way, Uh, I would like to greet dito ang aking uh, classmates sa um, industrial ma sa management engineering no si Sir Perry De Marukot no no uh, hello classmate Perry kamusta ka na no big time na big time na po si uh, Sir Perry De Marukot he owns his own company he's I think the president of the Rotary Club so meron po silang medical and dental mission para sa mga katutubong dumagat sa may Mount Puro, Kawalis Antipol, Antipolo. This is in celebration of the Indigenous Peoples Week. This is a project of the Rotary Club of Greater Anonas in cooperation with Pascual Laboratory, Lehal Parma, and Lloyd's Parma at Malbar Family. Oh, yan ha. Inbabati ko, kaklasmate ko po yan. I think 1977 or 1978, no? Uh, kami po ay kumukuha ng management engineering, no? So, ayan po. Tapos tinuloy ko pa yung aking industrial management engineering. At tapos kumuha ko ng isa pang course na para po sa peer, sa para maintindihan ko kasi uh, naging safety officer po ako dyan, eh. So, kumuha ko ng customs administration. So nagtugma po 'yon ano tungkol sa mga barko, mga bata sa barko, bata sa safety. At ulit, meron pa rito bumabati sa atin sa sa Facebook natin si Sam Rosales. He is a retired vice president for corporate uh, HR. Which now is safety consultant. Very nice job. Very nice job, sir. So katulad po ng sinabi ko no, yung mga nasa HR should also follow the standards. Halimbawa po ako Immediately po, if I interview people and I tend to learn that they drink, para pong 50-50 na ako eh. If they smoke, parang 50-50 po ako. No? Because there are really workers who does not smoke, who does not really uh, drink. Kahit yung sinasabing occasion, maano po natin. Kasi po yung, especially po sa construction, no? uh, ang work time po sa construction, eh alas 7 po ng umaga. Yan po yung mga kayong mga office worker, no? Napakaswerte nyo kasi 8.30 po ang pasok nyo. Sa mga planta po, katulad po sa... Yan po sa Pandakan, yung mga oil companies. O dyan sa may United Nations, kung saan ako dating nag-work, ang tawad nila Philippine Refining, alas 7 po ng umaga, start na po yung mga planta. 7 to 4 po. Ganon din po dyan sa party dyan po. And I think sa construction company, up to now, 7 o'clock. Now, if this guy is <laughs> has a booze at uh, 2 a.m., how could he wake up? And how could he, he be in control of his faculties when he's drunk? You know, if you drink, don't drive. Well, if you're drinking tonight, do not work also tomorrow because your faculties would be affected, especially if you went to sleep at 4 a.m., And you have to wake up at 6 and you take a cold shower and then damn, boom, you're there at the plant at 7. And you're doing welding works. You would now open this gate valve. Baka hindi nyo po nasara yung gate valve na yun masyado. And it now has a certain maliit na passing doon and it contaminates. And there is yung marami pong mga, mga alam ba yung mga fluids na yan, silene, mga... Madami po eh, uh, things that would uh, now, it's an accident waiting to happen, no? no? At uh, ito po si, ginigrig ko rin si Oscar Ramos Villavicencio. Magandang uh, hapon sa'yo. At sabi ko nga kanina, si Edwin na uh, paglinawan na nandiyan dyan sa Middle East. Si Rafael Corpus. Sino pa ba? Yung mga nandi dito, no? Madami nag-ano sa atin, eh. Marami nag-greet sa atin dito. Si Altayo. Ah, hindi ko maano to. Si Dr. Malu, Dr. Net, no? Si Dexter D., si Joel Hampak, si Jerome, si Adrian Gupit, si Brad uh, Tandoy Makapundag, Teddy Pereña, Jolly Bila Bilangdal, uh, Drickson uh, Bronales. At si Jap sa Villares, si Aram Mortaba, 
si Charisma Leiva, Luz Biminda Zamora, Sam Morales, Raymart Espinosa, Ana Almira, at ang pinakagwapo nito si Ariel Gonzaga de la Cruz. Ariel, guess ka naman muna. Si Ariel po isang marine surveyor. Yan po ang mga kung wala po yan, taong yan, eh, wala po siguro kayong tinapay. Siya po ang nagsusurvey sa mga barko. Gusto na rin maging safety officer. Siya po isang marino. Meron kaya siyang nobya bawat puerto? Ah, sorry, sorry, sir. Ah, si MJ Gatdula. Si Carol uh, Rebosa. Si Angie Papa. Si ang aking ever beautiful na professor. Si Nanette uh, Tab uh, Tabuso Dagondon. Professor ko po yan sa master's ko sa ano po ba, mga customs administration. Si Ma'am Jenny Jenny, si Alvin Payo Layog, Rafael Corpus, at si Engineer Edwina Roberto ang nag-assess uh, uh, po ng mga TESDA. Ngayon po, ha, yung mga driver ngayon, I think may batas na na hindi po kayo makakapag-renew ng inyong Uh, professional uh, driver's license lalo na sa mga trailer driver nang wala po kayong required certification. Si Mikey Yuson, si Noel uh, Kabaktulan Abing, kabrad po yan, si Pam Ferrer, ang aking pong professor nung grade 6, si Pas Munson Baigan, si Lolita Enrile, Jennifer Ocampo, Emilita Montoya at ang aking dating kulig na si William Sulit. I hope I greet you all. So, back to regular programming. So, these HR managers, purchasing managers, or their deputies before a project, there is now a safety requirement for welders, uh, pipe fitters, whatever po. You mean mga mga painters. Now, you're, you're getting a painter and he is scared of, he's scared of heights. Naturally, there is a very, very big problem there. Now, if not scared of heights, it's a hangover. Just moving up the ladder, going up the scaffoldings, he could barely, barely climb. What would happen? Accident. So, the safety officer should be on guard always, not only on the PPE. Look at the eyes, smell his breath. And before that, we should also try to prevent it by not hiring this person. He's an alcoholic. So tayo naman mga project managers, we should also think, kasi po, <laughs> sa construction, lahat tayo umiinom eh. So maraming sinasabi nila pasaway. Hindi po pasaway eh. Ito po ang safety is basic. Very basic po ang safety. Yung bawal, bawal talaga magtrabaho po pag sobra kang lasing. Eh, sigarilyo po ng sigarilyo, magkakatibi. Alam po natin yan. So, laging nilalagnat tuwing hapon. Yung mga nagsasabing, nilalagnat ako, sir. Ano, ano. Tignan nyo po, pa-x-ray nyo na kagad. Para po hindi tayo mahawa, hindi rin natin mahawa misis natin, hindi natin mahawa po lahat. So, pag yan po, taken into consideration, all of those people, now, we would have, what? We would have a safe environment. So, titignan po natin kung meron tayong mga text, ha? Mga mamaya, eh, meron tayong nakakalimutan. Madami. Mm. Paka-engineer, hindi yata daw maganda yung ating voice, ating pagdinig dito. Uh, nakikinig ang aking number one fam. Uh, pasensya na, ha? Medyo minsan. Kasi lahat ng mga nag-like sa atin, binati po natin. Inaayos po natin lahat. So, pakiayos natin ng, ana, pakitignan mo nga, asa nang mali natin, yung mahina yata ang sounds natin sa isang tagapakinig natin. So, okay po yan, ha? At sa purchasing, kailangan po ma-address yung mga purchasing. They should undergo, undergo a training, a seminar also on safety. So kung hindi po yan non-construction, there should be a BOSH attended by these purchasing people. Kung sa construction naman po, a COSH. If these people have attended those two seminars and they are 
following, they're into the toolbox meeting. We are now having, uli, sabihin ko, meeting of the minds. Kaya nga po, sinasabi ko sa ating din mga employer or ating mga safety manager or ating mga HR manager, do not just look at the price. Huwag po tayong kumuha ng mga safety officers na pwede nung siguro eh, kung let's say uh, third year engineering, tapos na na mechanics. Pwede na po. O tapos na ng uh, fourth year, tapos na ng uh, strength of materials. Okay na po yun eh. Magkakamiting kami kasi marunong na na algebra, marunong na nito, marunong na mag-drawing, marunong na po. No? Pero bakit po tayo kumukuha lagi ng hindi po ano, uh, This profession has to really, you know, what you might call it. It has to, yung bang pagandahin po natin. Hindi lang po dapat yung alimbawa. Og na manu sa akin magalit yung iba, no? Yung hindi yung nakapagtapos ang nagiginta po nang po nang ano para maging official ka dun po sa safety. Pag hindi ka magaling dun ka mo na sa safety. Kaya nga yung mga safety officer, talong kayang kaya na ng mga nakapagtapos naming mga engineering. Nakapagtapos namin, nakakapag-compute kami kung ano yung magiging uh, load. Ano yung, mag, ano, yung, ano yung sinasabi nila magkakaroon ng concentrated load, magkakaroon ng uh, deflection, yung bakal na yan. No? Yun po, eh, no? uh, we have to really work on this. And by the way, uh, So, ang mga gumagawa po ng uh, oras uli na, programa po natin ay eh, ganap na pong alas 6.2. Ang oras na to ay dala sa po sa inyo ng uh, uh, a certain smile ng, uh, ni Dr. Ted Oximer at uh, Denso Car and Bus Air Conditioners exclusively distributed by Coolmate Corporation headed by the chairman of the board is uh, Engineer Danny Tagle. And Vanity Clinic of Dr. Arisa Calderon, we would now play this song again. Still afraid to let it flow. What started out as friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. I tell myself that I can't hold out forever. I say there is no reason for my fear. I feel so secure when we're together You give my life direction And make everything so clear And even as I wonder I'm keeping you in sight You're a candle in the wind On a cold dark winter night I'm dead close Anymore. Baby. My 
Life's just been such a whirlwind since I saw you. I've been running around in circles in my mind. And it always seems that I'm following you, girl. Could you take me to the places that alone I'd never find? Oh, and even if I want I'm keeping you inside. You're a candle in the window on a cold, dark, middle side. I'm dead, no It's time to bring this ship into the shore Can slow away yours forever Cause I can't stop this feeling I've forgotten what I started fighting so and if I have to crawl upon the floor, come catch you through your door. Baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore. Thank you very much. What a wonderful song, no? Yung mga lumang kanta, di ba? Tita Pam. Yeah. By the way, I would like to greet, no? Uh, my cousin, the beautiful, vivacious, intelligent. Uh, nasa kanya na po. Uh, Bambi Tentyanko. Uh, uh, flight stewardess po siya ng Oman Air. And also her mother, one of the most beautiful aunties I ever had. Si Tita Josie ko, Josie Josefina Lopez. At ang Lopez uh, family there, si Tita Cory, si Denny, at ang kanyang aking inanak, si DJ, Tita Monsi, Tita Luisa, Tita Inday. Uh, cousins ko dyan, sila Sanggumay, sila Norma. Uh, everybody, there sa uh, keep on tune, tuning in dito po sa All About Safety. At uh, Bambi, welcome back. And po, ah, yung airline safety, huh? I think as one of the best records you could ever see. So, may kita nyo po ang mga na nagka-crash na aeroplano po, eh, kukunti lang po. I have ridden the airplane so many times. As a matter of fact, I think I have three passports already and all of them are full. Bago na po yung aking passport. At I'm still alive. <laughs> Uh, hindi pa po, po. Uh, engineer Larry Cyril, engineer Michael Arguelles, di ba? I'm still alive. <laughs> so, ang airline industry natin po has devoted a lot of time, a lot of research on safety. So, we expect also po the maritime people and we are work in the land base. We're working on the building. Huwag naman po yung high school graduate. Huwag naman po yung ordinary security guard lang. Nakakatapos lang po niya sa ano sa kanyang high school or first year college uh, and all of the sudden would be now our safety officer. <laughs> Kami po ay nagsunog po ng kilay, nag-aral po ng safety at sabi nga nila no, wala pong meeting of the minds. Kung ngayon yung tinapos po eh kung ano-ano lang diyan at uh, yung mga tao diyan kukunin kayo nag ang dami po kasi namin nakikita eh, na, at nadidinig. Ano? Kasi nga po, wala pong nangyayaring aksidente. But once may nangyayaring pong aksidente, hindi po basta-basta po siya makaka, ano, makaka, ano po, makaka, makaka-relate. And hindi po siya, ano eh, safety, safety practitioner. O hindi talaga eh, no? Tagasita lang po ng PPE. Eh, hindi po dapat tagasita lang ng PPE. 
Dapat po, like po sa rigging, no? Kailangan po siya ay isang at least, ano, industrial engineer, mechanical engineer, chemical engineer. Hindi ko sinasabing registered, ha? At least po graduate siya ron. To be able to comprehend ano po yung mga center of gravity, ano po yung mga sinasabi natin dito sa mechanics, no? And then, we are now faced with the situation that there are now obstructions uh, at the job site. I would like also to greet uh, Engineer Hatch Perez of uh, EE, EE Black na aking earlier post ang aking pong predicament tungkol po dyan sa obstructions at meron pong mga drainage doon. Ano? So may mga drainage. So pwede ba pong mag-fork tip doon? May mga sagot pong oo and hindi. Tatalakayin po natin yan sa susunod ng programa natin. Hopefully, pag natapos po namin itong project na to, we're in which we were able to distribute the load, spread out the load, and that's it. Next, next ano na po yan. Ano? Uh, yun po naman, nagtuturo rin po ng mga rigging safety. Hindi lang po yan sa pag-angat, maglalagay ka ng sling, meron kang... Uh, shackle, meron kang uh, mga ito, no? may mga grade po yung mga sling, ano? may mga breaking point. Once po, you put it on an angle here, you put it on an angle of 60 degrees, it is, you're, you're losing a percentage po. When you have a 45 degrees, you're losing much more uh, on your slings. And when you have 30 degrees, you're losing again. So, is this allowed? So, I would answer all of those questions again on the next coming program. It would be again now slinging. We would now have uh, some sort of slinging. And naturally, may mga nababasa ako rin. Wala po tayong kinukumpit sa ibang mga, ano, uh, mga gumagawa po ng trabaho natin. I believe they're all competent. They have graduated from their uh, chosen field of discipline and endeavor. But please, wag naman po yung, uh, wag naman po yung uh, nilalagay natin sa mga job site po natin na hindi po mga competent na tao. Once you have those not competent na tao, pwede po walang mangyaring aksidente. Kasi minsan nga eh, tinapunan na nga yung ng sigarilyo po yung isang punong-puno po ng uh, baso ng gasolina, hindi po nagliyab eh. Namatay po. Namatay po yung sigarilyo. Bakit po namatay? Wala pong hangin eh. One, the, the element, one of the elements of fire, to start a fire, is not there. It's not present. Meron pong element of fire eh. No? At tatanungin niyo po yan, siniseminar po natin yan. Ano? Kailangan po, may, meron pong fuel content Meron pong mag i night Meron pong oxygen. Kaya po, diniscuss natin doon sa earlier program natin, once you have more oxygen, it now becomes a fire hazard. The more oxygen you have, it would ignite flame. It would help ignite flame. Pero kung wala pong fuel, magpo-fuel doon, walang combustible things, paper, gasolina, or something. At wala pong spark, To, to ignite the fire, wala po. So, ayun po, uh, komplikado po ang safety. Eh. Hindi po yan na uh, ang safety po, na mag-aaral lang kayo ng safety. Ito namang mga nagbibigay po ng uh, uh, mga training seminars. Huwag naman po tanggap ng tanggap. Kasi po, hindi naman po, tapos meron na yung boss, meron siyang cause. Mga hindi naman po sila <laughs> mga talagang mga matatalino or uh, competent na tao, huwag po natin basta-basta kunin yan, di ba? So, we have this duty to prevent because prevention is better than cure. Hindi na po yung may namatay na, and then we will act. And as I've said, on a rainy, rainy Saturday, it's 6.15. This hour is brought to you by JLE Project International Inc. Experience Riggers Crating Contractors par excellence. And if you think safety is expensive, try an accident. And 
I would like to play the song. This, Pam, this is your request. tried to beat you, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks, and now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. Is and nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. I won't hesitate no more, no more. It Cannot wait, I'm yours Well open up your mind and see like me Open up your plans and damn you're free Look into your heart and you'll find love, love, love Listen to the music of the moment, maybe sing with me A la peaceful melody It's your God for singing right to be loved, love, 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 love So I won't hesitate no more, no more It cannot wait, I'm sure there's no need to complicate our time is short this is our fate i'm yours i love my job i really love my job Checking my tongue in the mirror And bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer My breath fogged up the glass And so I drew a new face and laughed I guess what I'm saying is There ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanity And just go with the seasons Is what we aim to do Our name is our virtue I won't hesitate no more, no more, it cannot wait. I'm sure there's no need to open up your mind and see like it. Our time is short, it do your cannot wait. I'm yours, no, I do the music in the morning. So take no more, no more. It's your God singing right to be loving. I'm sure no need to open up your mind and see it like me. Open up your plans and then you'll be sure. Well, look into your heart and you'll find love. I'm yours. Hello, thank you very much. Sinasabayan po natin, hindi pala po masyadong mayroon pala sumabay sa mic dito, no? Lalo hindi ko alam ang uh, lyrics masyado. And happy listening uh, to Lola Amelia. Sa Monday naman po, si Kate Di Perenya natin ng Ox Radio. Nandi dito naman po siya. Magaling na kaibigan natin yan si Kate Di Perenya. So, back to regular programming po natin. No? May nag-text dito, hiring pa po tayo. Yun ba to? Sino nag, uh, ano sa atin? nag-message sa atin sa Facebook kung hiring pa po tayo? Hiring pa po lagi kami, no? Mahirap po yung safety officer, no? We are looking for several people, several jobs, ano? 
So kailangan pa po natin ano? Uh, binabati rin natin 'tong lagi natin si Robin Castro at uh, si Engineer Joan Jonela. Ayun. Binabati natin si Arlina Chensa ng Phoenix Phoenix Petroleum. Uh, sino pa ba din natin na mabati? Ito sa Singapore si Ian Roldan Lau at nga pala si Engineer uh, Arnold Kabuay, if you're listening, uh, hopefully we really wanted to talk to you and be a guest again and hopefully we could do some more business it here sa JLF Project International Inc. At si Francis Guevara sa inyong second term na second chance again, no? Mag, uh, no natin, maging guest po natin dito. And I would also like to greet Steve Walsh of IMS... Uh, Project Installation of Australia. I think it's coming back to the Philippines. And hopefully the partnership of uh, IMS JLF uh, Project Logistics Solutions Corporation would be in place. And we would have a more business, more job, and we would be here making our presence felt in the Philippines. So where are we at? Sabi nga ng aking Amerikanong boss ng si Jim John. Where are we at? Well, we are still on the risk worker. And once you find the right worker, that's the time he should be oriented. Because the risk has a certain level po yan. May mga with, which would we address. Let's say there's a possibility that there be a fatality. Now, that should be addressed. The crane tipping over. Well. Not only there will be damages on the load, there will be also a possibility of a person getting injured or will die. And we would have a serious uh, breach of our safety record because with that accident, I presume <laughs> that one person, if he's hit by that crane, he might not be able to report to work. Or he might not be able to report to work forever. So that's the thing that we should know. So has this crane, has the safety factor. Now, ito po, hindi ko po masyadong sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko. If you have a 50% safety factor, what would be, how much crane's capacity are you using? Or if you have a 30% safety factor, how much uh, the crane capacity are you using? E may mga point-point po yan, may mga ganito-ganito. No? May mga boom pa yan, puro point-point. Saan po natin ginagamit? Di ba? Uh, there was a time I was in a certain place and they asked me, they told me, engineer, Di ba po habang tumataas po yung anong yan, yung crane na yan, mataas ang boom niyan, eh, you lose the power? <laughs> Sinabi ko po mali. Again, sa aking mga listeners, once you have a boom and you're rising up, does it always follow that you're losing capacity? You are now decreasing the crane's capacity? When you're Sinisenya nyo po na boom up that we will tackle po sa mga next next programs po natin. So it does not necessarily follow. So students, safety officers, safety consultants that are listening to me, it does not always follow. Now once you're having that boom being risen up, that it would lose its capacity. Now it decreases its capacity. The right word, it decreases. So yan po ang aking po masasabi. So it's again 6.25. This hour is brought to you by JLF Project International Inc. Experience, competent triggers, one of the best crating contractors in the Philippines right now. They do standard crating, barrier packing with vacuum sealing. They install shock watches to monitor if your cargos have undergone rough handling. And they're also experienced uh, out of gauge or heavy lift cargos. Just call on JLF Project International Inc. 
862-4995. Email j.ferrer at jleproject.com.ph or pamferrer, jleproject.com.ph. And you could also go to their uh, website. I think their website is... Um, ano ba yung website natin, Ana? Nakakalimutan ko yung website natin, ah. Uh, I think jleproject.webs.com uh, Something like that. You could search it po sa Facebook. And we're there. And we would like to thank everybody for a wonderful show. We would like to thank Pam Ferrer for the wonderful script that she's given me. To Ana Almira, to Christine Pabian. Condolences to your grandmother who just passed away. Our sympathies to the, fam the Fabian family and to the rest of the safety practitioners and uh, consultants in the Philippines. We would like to thank you, greet you a very good, nice weekend ahead of you. Let's all practice our Sabbath. Let's all go to church and repent on our sins. And Here's again uh, our next song, our last song. I would play to you and tune in next Saturday. All I need is a little love in my life. All I need is a little love in the dark. A little, but I'm hoping it might kickstart me and my broken heart. I need a little love tonight. Hold me so I'm not falling apart. A little, but I'm hoping it might kickstart. Me and my broken heart, yeah. Shotgun, in that my heart, you got one. Tear me apart in this song. How do we call this love? Oh, oh, oh. I try to run away, but your eyes tell me to stay. Oh, I, why do we call this love? Oh, oh, oh. It seems like we've been. Control. 